Good morning, YouTubers, uh, future millionaires and multimillionaires. I have a technical video for you guys today. It's um, uh, in the event <coughs> that your computer ever um, go down and uh, your hard drive, basically, uh, if it ever fails and you're not able to boot, I'm going to show you how to create a flash drive, just regular, um, any flash drive. Make sure it's at least uh, 32 gig or bigger. And um, I'm going to show you how to install Windows on that flash drive so you'll be actually be able to plug in your flash drive into your computer and um, boot off of it <coughs> and get back online right away in the event your hard drive fails. Um, the process actually is pretty easy. First thing you need to do is uh, download the software here, it's called Aomi, A-O-M-E-I, Partition Assistant. All you got to do is open up browser and uh, search for Aomi, A-O, there you go, Aomi, and grab the first link. It's a freeware, just download it right here. And um, once the software is installed, it's going to look like this. And what you want to do, you want to come down here and click on All Tools. Then you want to go uh, um, Windows to Go Creator. You're going to click on that little button there. And uh, it's going to open up a window like that looks like this. And uh, you want to click on next and uh, before you do that you need to uh, make sure that you have your window ISO file downloaded and the way to do that is just come down here into your browser download Windows 10 today is um, July 23rd so this is <coughs> excuse me it's the new build of Windows so all you do click on the first Microsoft link over here And then you're going to click on this little um, download tool now. You're going to click on that. And it would download this real small file. You just click on that file on that, um, on the, um, on that file. And it's going to open up in here. If you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, Microsoft Windows, Verify the Publisher, you just hit yes. Basically, all it's going to do is download the, the ISO file, the image of Windows. You're going to hit yes, and that's directly uh, from the Windows website. What happened here? Oh, I see what I'm doing. Sorry about that, guys. It's going to look like this. Hang on, I'm just trying to make a couple adjustments here. I apologize. Okay, so this little window pops up over here, and while we're waiting, um, my name is Ali, and uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, what we do on this channel, we um, talk about making money online and um, entrepreneurship and um, basically uh, ditching the 9 to 5, and uh, with the quarantine and the difficult time that we're dealing with right now, this would be a very viable option. So I'm going to have... Um, a uh, few um, links in the description if you guys want to check them out. Uh, they're really, really great offers. Some of them are paid offers. Some of them are free offers. Um, that will help you uh, start your online business. Anyway, after this window pops up, you hit accept. And uh, it's going to present you with two options over here. Make sure you select the ISO option. Um, Again, if you're uh, already you're already part of my channel, thank you so much. If you already subscribed to my channel, I appreciate that. If you're new, new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Um, tick that bell icon so you won't uh, miss out on any uh, uh, upcoming videos. I publish videos um, quite often, and um, I would um, this way you won't miss out on any upcoming uh, training videos, making money online videos. Um, <coughs> And uh, let's check this out real quick. Anyway, when this little video pops up, uh, you don't want to upgrade your PC. You want to create an ISO file. You see what it says, create an installation media, uh, flash drive, DVD, ISO. You're just going to hit yes. 
I mean, you're going to select this option, hit next, and you're just going to hit next, and you're going to you're going to select the ISO file, okay, right here. Okay, great. So now if we go back to the if we go back to the software that we were using earlier, which is Iomi software right here. This option here is asking you for the ISO file. So what you do, you're just going to click this little folder here. I already downloaded it. It's, a, it's about 4 gigs. So you're going to select that file right here. And you're going to hit Next. And you're going to hit Proceed. And it's going to tell you all the data on your um, flash drive is going to get erased. So make sure you don't have anything important on there. Or move all the important stuff that you have on that flash drive that you're going to install Windows on. You're going to hit yes. And this process right here. And one thing I do want to mention is um, this process takes a very long time. So uh, try to do this before you go to bed. Um, it takes over an hour. And another reason that you want to do run this process by itself because um, it, it uses a lot of resources. Uh, if I were to open up any other application right now, if I try to, I have several monitors here, and if I try to multitask, the fan would run very, very high. Um, it, it would, it would get really loud. Um, I do have an i7 computer, which is pretty fast, but this application here requires a lot of uh, uh, resources. So try to run it uh, before you go to bed. It would be the best time. And it's, they got an option over here. Automatically shut down the PC after uh, after uh, after completion. So you just tick on that little box over here, and it will shut it will shut computer down after it's finished the uh, the the process. Another thing too, I recommend is make sure you come down here to your um, to your um, power options. You go into settings make sure you click on uh, where's power power should be here somewhere language accounts apps gaming you hear the fan running as soon as I open up this application this thing goes crazy uh, it gets it gets pretty uh, it, it needs a lot of resources if you type in power sleeping settings the very first one click on that one and um, try to change this to, instead of one hour, try to change it to like three hours. Okay, make both of these three hours because you don't want the computer to go to sleep while the process is uh, um, it's still running. So right now it's, it's installing, it's at 5%, it takes quite a long time. And you guys can hear the fan running as soon as I open up another application. It just uh, start overheating and uh, it's running at a very high R R RPM. But anyway, um, I don't want to make this video very long. It's really, really easy process. You just um, all you do is download this. Um, come back here. Assistant standard. Come down here, download the free software, uh, go to Windows, download the tool, download the ISO file, and um, open up the software and click on tools and uh, select the option uh, Windows to go and it will install Windows on your flash drive. What, what's happening over here, guys, I want to make this very, very clear. We're not copying Windows files onto your um, on your flash drive. We're installing Windows on the flash drive. So in the event your computer crash and your hard drive stops working, you can just put your flash drive back in your computer and boot from it and start using your window right away. This way you're you're not down. You know, if you have some important things to do, check emails, do important things online. Um, 
there's another point that I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, one thing you need to do is um, all computers require um, you to uh, change the boot sequence. Usually the default setting is to, to, to boot from the hard drive, but if your hard drive fails, you want to tell it to boot from the CD, not CD, I'm sorry, from the flash drive, which is a USB drive. Uh, so in my computer on the Lenovo, I believe it's uh, either F1 or Escape, and that gets me in the BIOS, and you get to change that, and uh, tell it to boot from the flash drive, and that would make it work. You see how the fan's running? I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But yeah, this is... Uh, I've already downloaded this, so I'm just going to cancel here this process. Anyway, so I hope this uh, video was helpful, uh, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, being with me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, uh, tick that bell icon so you won't miss out on uh, any um, upcoming videos. And uh, share this video if you've gotten any value out of it. And if you're looking to, um, if you're looking for some option to start your online business, start making money online, uh, check out the office that I have in the description. Uh, the office that I have below and uh, thank you guys for being with me and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.